Let's look at some watercolor brushes. Sometimes when you're in the store and you see a huge assortment of brushes that can say acrylic, watercolor, oil, you're not quite sure what you're looking for. For watercolor, you're typically looking for soft brushes. So this is a student grade that we're looking at and they are very soft. They're a little bit fluffy so they'll hold some water. However, they do have their limitations in the fine points. Here we have some faux squirrel brushes and they are soft, however, they're a little springy sometimes for watercolor. So these are great for one wash that you're not gonna layer a lot, maybe small areas because sometimes they pick up paint as I'm working. Here we have a liner brush. This can be for acrylic or watercolor and it will give you very fine skinny lines for details. Next, we have one of my favorite brands, which is Silver Black Velvet. They're very soft, they have fine points, and they have a good sized belly to hold the water. Now my brushes are a little ragged because I've had them a long time, and I use them for acrylic and watercolor. I use fluid acrylics. Those can be really hard on your brushes. Typically, you want to stick with one type of brush for one type of paint. Now let's look at the points of these brushes. Some of them have a finer point than others. The student grade is very dull. The velvet is very pointy. The squirrel is kind of in between. Lastly, if I could afford all of these brushes, I would buy this brand. This is Creative Mark. Isabe also makes these beautiful mop brushes. They hold a lot of water. They have a very fine point and they're just beautiful to use. So I can get wide marks with this all the way to very fine lines. I use this brush for my larger paintings, but they make all different sizes of these. I've had this one for a very long time and it still holds its shape and point. Let's see how these perform when we add some paint to paper. I'm using a Cotman travel palette that I customize with a few colors. I have another video on different types of paint. We're starting out with a squirrel brush and I didn't grab enough paint when I first started this line, so I went back and added some. Sometimes these brushes don't hold as much as I want. Next, we'll use the black velvet, and I get a nice wide mark, a nice skinny mark, and it holds a good amount of paint and water. Let's look at a smaller version of that same velvet brush. Again, I can get a fine line all the way to a wider mark. So this brush gives me a lot of flexibility in my smaller paintings to fill in broader shapes as well as finer details. Next, let's look at a student grade brush. It doesn't have as fine a point, but I can still get a pretty good line all the way to a wider mark. It doesn't hold a ton of paint or a ton of water, so you end up having to add a little bit more as you go. Lastly, let's look at this larger brush, and you can see the variety of lines I can get with this one as well. Now, if I'm working quickly and I want to stretch out that wash, I can go grab some water and it holds quite a bit, so it will help me drag that wash very quickly before it starts to soak into the paper. The acrylic liner brush, again, is good for little details, but you will find that it doesn't hold much paint. So my first line I do here, I start to lose the amount of paint, and my line breaks as I get to the end. When I try it again, I add more paint and more water, and I can get a better line, but it doesn't go very far. Let's look at the smallest of our student grade brushes, another detail brush. This one holds a little bit more paint and water and gives me a little more flexibility with my line. To get a fine line, load your brush with paint and barely touch your paintbrush to the paper. Very light pressure and as you drag, you're going to add a little bit more pressure and it will make a wider line as you work. Let's end with brush care. Now remember, don't leave your brushes in the water, it will ruin them, but this is equally bad, standing them up while they're wet. And the water drains down into the metal ferrules and slowly degrades the brush and the handle and the bristles. So best bet is either lay them horizontally on a flat surface, or if you have something like this, you can hang them upside down to drain without damaging the points. When you're done painting for the day, wash your brushes out with Dawn soap and clean water, reshape the points, squeeze a little water out, and let dry.